Great play, saves and grabs the rebound. You know, at the zone there, at the top of the zone, I, you know, the framing of play just able to keep it in. It almost looked like Needham could have got that 2-1-1 -on -one going again. Yeah, Fisher almost had it, just a little bad bounce over stick. We talked a little about earlier, like, about that. If Framing keeps pressing, maybe Needham will get some, uh, you know, odd man opportunities. Yeah. Charnano again lays out the black one. But that's at least his third one tonight. <laughs> Here, Here we go. go. Here one we one. go. Uh, Arno open, but a shot wide by uh, Fisher. And framing it comes right back. Centering, but goes under the stick. Of number seven, Tyler Ains, who has been very involved for Framingham. Here's Fisher again. Arno with a shot. Oh, what a great save. That's the best save of the night for their goalie. Arno still buzzing down there. Now Cam Wolf out there to help him out as he was able to change. Needham will send it down and uh, no icing as he was right on the red line. And now Framingham sends it back. Mikhail comes out to knock around the boards. Really fast action here. Kim Wolf out and it will dump and chase. Christensen going down in the corner here. Oh, and again, the puck just slid away from the Needham player there. That Pascucci. was on number 14, Pascucci. Strong play oh. for, oh. Nice play by Pascucci there. Not sure why the whistle did the neck come off or? I think. I think he did. Or is he just gonna, yeah. Oh, that came off just a little bit. But the framing of play must have done it because they kind of call it outside the, uh, outside the uh, offensive zone. A little more than halfway through this third period, 6.58 left. Connor Forbes out there with Atkinson and uh, number 22, Seth, Seth Jacobs. Jacobs. Atkinson fighting hard there. Knocks it out of the zone, but Premium knocks it right back in. Really is your classic Bay State battle here when you have Needham versus Framingham in all sports. You know, Needham Wellesley, of course, the big rival, but it always seems we have good battles against Framingham in all different sports. Well, Framingham has, Framingham has had a good youth program. And Slightly better record here tonight, so see if we can pick a game up. It'd be nice. 5.59 left. Battling along the boards there. Finally controlled by um, Tampkin, although he does knock it down for the icing. You didn't hear anything in between periods about school tomorrow, did you? No cold delays or anything yet? I have not, no, nothing. I saw you down there talking to the kids. Figured they would know, right? Someone would tweet it or something, right? Yeah, no, nothing was brought up. I didn't want to give oh, them Oh, nice idea. save, couple. They're waiting for that 10 o'clock news. Arno again, again, Arno. You might as well say a shot blocked Arno. It doesn't look right. Is there a stat for that? Should be. He's working hard tonight. Got the first goal too, right? Yes, he did. Mikhail guides that one away. Arno knocks it go. out. Two on two. Shot just over the net by uh, by Fisher. Now Framingham breaking it out. Fisher doing some nice back checking though. Able to actually 
back check and collect the puck. So nice job by him getting up to Caruso. Looking cross out there for Cam Wolf. Doesn't connect, but off the bench was Piersack who was able to get a shot on net. Katz now controlling it for Needham, looking for someone to break it out. Both teams were making a line change. Flipped into the Needham bench, and it will be a face-off. So we head to 424. It seems like a fast third period here, huh? It does, and we'll probably just see now the two best lines now to finish the game. Face-off at center ice. So Christensen, McKenna. And Cam Wolf. Wolf, of course, we know is the big lacrosse player, right? That's right. Isn't he even committed to play somewhere next year lacrosse, I think? Down in Tampa, I believe. Yeah. University of Tampa. Need him looking to break it out again. Pass Gucci on defense out the with Cats now. Down in the corner, looking for it. Up. And that will be an icing, I believe, yes. As it, I thought it, McKenna might be able to get to it, but it was not. So I think you're right as the number one line comes back out here again. With three and a half to go. Got to finish with the shooters. Face off one by Fisher. Looks like uh, Mirages is out there defense with the Conry. Premium, oh, again laid out by Arno. And then a great dive and poke check by Arno. Really having a, quite a game here tonight. Another block by Arno. And out of the zone. Picked up by Fisher. Onside, I think he thought he was yeah, offside. He, yeah. That's, That's why he stopped, bad. but then he gathered it in. Shoot, and it's blocked by the Framingham. Dump back into the corner. Niles got it in the corner. Yeah. Oh, just bounces out over Mirage's stick, and Framingham play able to pick it up, but helped on defense by his partner there, Conray. A bit impressed with the need of defenders covering for one another. 2.43 left here. Another great job by Arno to get it out of the zone. Framingham coming right back. Needham changing up. They got caught oh, with too many no. men on the ice, though, I think. Yeah, they did. They got caught with too many men on the ice. So with 2.20 left, that's a huge penalty against Needham. That's too bad. He had to call that, though, because Needham guy was, he wasn't close to the boards. He was over by the dot here. He was actually playing, almost going to go play the puck. Yeah, and then they realized it. So with 2.20 left, there'll be a minute 30 penalty against Needham. So hopefully they can uh, shorthanded bid. Hold strong. I, I wouldn't mind just keeping him, framing him off the board. And then, although shorthanded would be good too. Well, you got Christensen, Piersack, McKenna, and Katz, I believe. So it looks like they're looking for someone for Needham to go into the box. They put Danny McAvoy, freshman, gets on the score sheet, right? He, he had some ice time, though, a little bit earlier. Yeah, he had a little. Again, not the way you want to get on the sheet, though. But. No. Framingham wins the face, all-important face-off, which we talked about on power plays and penalty kills. Shot through, blocked. Nice job, and it's cleared out by Needham. That was Piersack. 110 left on the penalty, 158 left here in this uh, third period. Bringingham brings it into the zone. Shot saved by McHale. It's probably up to 30 saves, I would guess. He had a total of 29 shots after two periods, so it's definitely over that. Could be getting to 40. <laughs> 